I, uh, I was wrong. I was, I was wrong. I can admit when I'm wrong most of the time, and this time I was, I was wrong. Although I, I did leave a little note for you on the thing, but like I think a lot of people didn't catch the note. But there was a note because I noticed that I was wrong right when I let the video out. But anyway, um, yeah. Hello, <laughs> top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? I got an update video for you. It's the bamboo clutch. They've all shed out. We're gonna check them out. It's gonna be awesome. So there's 10 animals total, and I'm only gonna be keeping two of them. So that means the other eight will be available. So just keep that in mind as we're checking this out. And this is the one and only normal. One of my mistakes was that I thought I had two normals, and then I realized when I was watching the video back afterwards that one was an Enchi. And we'll do a little comparison just so you can see which one's really the Enchi. This one is a boy, so all of these snakes are gonna be Het Clown. And this dude is very gorgeous. I mean, the, the Het Clown, although it doesn't have any markers that I've ever seen, like like specific markers where you'd be like, oh, that's a Het Clown marker. The Het Clown influence does tend to make the snake uh, have a little cleaner pattern and, and lightens up the snake a bit. As you can tell when you look at this guy, he might look a little more uh, beautiful or, or bright and, and colorful than a regular wild type ball python would look. And, and again, he has a boy. You want to see? Boom. There they are, popping out, little hemi peenies. Little hemi peenies, hi little hemi peenie. There they go, little peenies. This is snake number two and psh, another boy. Another boy, another boy, another boy. But this one's an enchi. And this is the one that I actually, I think mistook as a normal when I was first doing the video, but as you can see, he's got that enchi banding. And then after I go through all the enchies, well, we're gonna go through each snake one at a time and we'll do some comparisons after. Definitely a good looking snake. Um, one of his defining characteristics here is that big open keyhole on the top there that you can see, right there. It's kind of a big one. It kind of stands out. Whereas a lot of enchi doesn't have, you know, big ones like that. They usually have little tiny openings like that. That's the one thing that really stands out about this guy for me. Let's see if you can get a nice whole snake shot here of him for you. Definitely a good looking dude. Got those, uh, you know, this is not the one I mistook as Enchi because he does have that X on the head. As we mentioned in the last clutch video, he's got that little butterfly on his head. Let's see, you know, his Enchi and then also the eye stripes get fatter in the back there. So those were, this is not the one I mistook as a normal. Ready for this? Bam! Little peens popping out again. Boom, look at those peens. Nice and just there. Uh, another male. This is snake number three. And this is also not the one I mistook for Enchi because got those fat eye stripes in the back that, that fatten up a little bit. I definitely didn't mistake this one for a normal. Uh, saw Enchi right away. And I'll pull the normal back out in just a moment so you can see it next to the Enchi and you can kind of see the, the color difference and, and what really makes them stand out, especially after shed. You know, it's kind of a mistake, I think, to try and identify animals especially when they're this close uh, before they shed. After they shed, it's a lot easier. Even just after several sheds, it gets easier and easier, I, I think. Another thing I noticed about Enchi's, especially maybe with that head clown influence, you got this orange that kind of comes up in the sides of the alien heads. Real pretty, real nice. And that usually stays with them into adulthood, too, of the Enchi's I've seen. Another boy. I know it seems a little male heavy right now, the first three are boys, but they're not all boys. Now, this is the one that I thought was a normal when I was first identifying the clutch. And mostly because there were so many of those keyholes and, and big keyholes, they kind of made me think normal. But when you look towards the back, it definitely has more of that Enchi look to it. And then if we look at all of three Enchis together, and, and the other thing was with him is that his eye stripes didn't fatten up too much in the back of the head there. You can see the eye stripe just kind of, it does fatten a little bit now that I'm looking at it again. Just a little bit though, not as extreme as the other ones that have that more circular thing that happens to the back of the eye stripe. But you definitely see that that banding happening across the back there, which kind of is another dead giveaway for Enchi. And this is snake number four, by the way, and this one is a female. So we got a female Enchi het clown, and she will be available. But let's look at all of them together. So here's the normal with a couple of the Enchis side by side. Here's the normal right here in this hand, and then the Enchis are over here. You can really see the difference in color between them. And it, it kind of stands out. It's a little more obvious than it than it was when they were still in shed. If you guys can see that, that, that difference in color alone without just the pattern. Other markers, it's just a, a different hue. It's a lighter brown. And uh, yeah, 
I hope you guys can see that because it's plain as day to me. Come on down, snake number five. This is a pastel Enchi Het Clown. She is a female. And then look at that phenomenal head stamp there, that pastel Enchi head stamp. You get that butterfly happening and the, the pastel just blown. It's a wicked head stamp. It's a really, really cool looking head stamp. And a very bright, vibrant girl looking real good. Got that Enchi banding on the back and just phenomenal. Some nice blushing going on throughout the sides. Just a uh, just a really good looking snake overall, I would say. And maybe thinking about my thumb. These are all hopefully gonna have their first meals tonight. We're gonna give it a try, see what happens. So that was the first five snakes and now we're moving into the second half, the next five, which are all bamboo. And this one I'm thinking is a normal bamboo, just bamboo, no pastel or enchi in this one. I think <laughs> this is where honestly this this has frustrated me to no end after these guys shed out and I've just been looking at them and looking at them and like it makes me feel like I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing and and some people have mentioned that it is difficult to pull out pastel and enchi both in in with bamboo I mean bamboo being such a overpowering gene as it is it can be hard to pick out those subtleties and <laughs> i'm having a hard time man i can't i can't figure it out i don't know what's happening i'm just gonna start drinking what's gonna end up happening well i i'm gonna throw out some references i'm, I'm gonna go out and ask a couple people get some second opinions on these snakes for sure because some of them i'm fairly certain are pastel but i don't want to sell an animal and then have it not have the gene so what's likely going to happen is that i'm gonna sell most of them as just bamboos even though they may be carrying ng or pastel with them and you'll just kind of get a bonus if you're one of the people that ends up with them and they end up having more than just the bamboo but the, and the het clown influence like i mentioned too with even with the wild type doesn't help because it's making them more bright and more pretty and it's not helping me identify these snakes at all it's okay like maybe there's ng in here i don't know <laughs> let's look at the next one this is a girl. Can you guys do me a favor? If you like this video, would you do me a favor and whack the like button, smack the like button, rub the like button, touch the like button, do something dirty to the like button. If you didn't like it, then hit the I didn't like it button. Either one, I appreciate it. Thanks. Snake number seven and pew, boy, big time. You see those peens coming out? Bam. And I'm keeping this one. I, I wanted a bamboo male het clown so that I can hopefully produce some bamboo clowns next season. So this guy's staying here. So it doesn't matter if he happens to have pastel or energy in him because he is actually the only male bamboo we got. The rest of them are females. So that's great odds. Um, you know, not complaining about hitting mostly females with the bamboos, that's for sure. But he is, uh, he is staying here. Beautiful. Look at the highlighting on the side. Look at the, the light, light. I don't know if it's on that side as much. This side for sure. Look at the whites that highlight outside the keyholes and alien heads on these snakes. Bamboo is a beautiful gene. As overpowering as it is, it, it's nice that it's at least a pretty overpowering gene. And they, they stay nice into adulthood. They don't change much into adulthood. They stay very much like this, which is really cool. Because a lot of ball python morphs out there, you know, change a lot as they age. But bamboo just stays pretty damn consistent. Snake number eight and of another female bamboo. I think this one is pastel. Mainly the blushing on the back of the head is what I'm looking at. It's very blushed out. There are more alien heads per capita than some of the other snakes and the end has just looked different. But again, <laughs> I'm going to have to get some second and third opinions before I make my final call. But again, likely what I'll do is just let them go as bamboo and maybe we'll get pastel or, or enchi out of the deal. But the, the one that is pastel enchi bamboo, I'm... I know is pastel and she bamboo and she's staying here so but there you go snake number eight beautiful if you look at the top of the snake this one has a lot of blushing going on in the top as well this one I'm fairly certain this is actually pastel if this isn't pastel then I mean it, it just really seems like this snake has pastel in it I'd be surprised if it didn't and snake number nine another female bamboo and this girl has like crazy definition and pattern happening inside of her alien heads. Like there's just a lot of busyness happening in the alien heads, especially on the side that I'm looking at. Here, look at this. You see how much detail and busyness is going on inside those alien heads kind of compared to the other ones. And especially towards the back here that like all those ones that are running together 
I don't know what's going on there. And you know what? The other thing is there's this little head stamp on there that makes me think that Enchi is trying to pull through. And then especially the way the back eye stripes are, are thickening up here. It's making me say Enchi. I would love for any and all of you to give your opinions on which ones you think these are. Um, I, I, that's why I've been saying, you know, this is snake number eight. This is snake number nine right here. Just so it's clear if you want to comment on a particular snake and say, I think the snake number blah, blah, blah is blah, blah, blah. I would love it if you guys would comment below with that stuff, man. And you can see on the top, you got these little like islands popping up in the dorsal pattern. These little spots here that are that are coming through. Those are cool too. Just really good looking snakes around this time, man. Oh, look at that. It's a beautiful snake. Gorgeous. And last but certainly not least, keeping this girl. This is the one that I know is pastel and she bamboo. She's just, she is. There's, I'm not, and there's no question for me about it. And so I figure, why not? I'll keep her. You know, can't can't hurt to have a het clown female like that hanging around here. Or any of these snakes, really. But it was never my plan to keep them all. In fact, when I when I hatch out clutches, I basically plan to keep a couple. You know, maybe. Maybe a couple of the snakes. I I really don't keep a whole lot of the stuff I produce. I know there's people that keep almost everything they produce. I'm like the opposite of that. I like people to end up with my snakes. It's cool. And you can see the difference on the sides of this snake versus all those other ones. There's like a lot more cleanliness. It's very, very smooth and a lot more patternless all the way down the sides. And that's that combo of pastel and she working together to really clean up those sides. And that's what it's doing. That's what it do. Feast your eyes. Feast, feast them. Feast them upon this young snake. Hey, almost forgot to show you guys Mama and Papa Snake before we get out of here. There's Ricky, pastel Enchi clown. That's Dad. And then here is Mama. That's Dot the Bamboo. There she goes. Looking fantastic. All right, you guys have yourselves a great day. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We'll see you Wednesday. Cusco Uncut. <laughs>